All right, let's go, Capricorn. What's up here with you? Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Sorry, guys, for still being a little bit sick, but still good enough to do the readings. Let's see. Let's see who is coming towards you. What is coming towards you? Ooh, Eight of Cups. See, I, I do see you really walking away, though. You know, maybe you've really worked on getting that foundation and achievement with this individual and eventually found that inner peace within yourself and your own family, right? Like, yeah, Five of Cups. See, th these were the cards that came out for them. Five of Wands, Conflict. There you are, Queen of Pentacles. Really trying, you know, you've really tried... Um, to go into the battle with them, to really, you know, maybe try to even uplift them, but it kind of like backfired, something kind of like backfired on you is what I'm hearing. And now it's time for you to stay rooted and stay grounded, all right? Maybe be a little bit more... I feel like you tried to help this person, like, you know, you should do this, you should do that, and this person was like, no, nah, and just very much like emotionally upset and all of that. And now spirit is like, you know what, focus on new, focus on a new connections, new communication, get excited because you've just been through a phase of a lot of push and pull. See, there's a king of wands coming in for you. This is brand new energy and you're focused on the past, you're focused on trying to understand where things go in wrong in the co in the conversation in the conflict and what led you to feel so disappointment disappointed and i feel like you're definitely not even paying attention to the person that is trying to come in page of swords you may be afraid that even if you would move on to someone else, that this person will still keep an eye on you and that eventually you will, you know, mess up uh, having any type of relationship after all with this past person. But Spirit is saying, like, trust in the new. Go towards a new direction. Take that leap of faith. Release yourself from, from the restrictions that, that are going on right now. I feel like you've been waiting for a way long time. You've made a lot of sacrifices here with this hangman. You certainly did. Man, you did. Free from judgment, free to love. I feel like that's the fool. You know, you're done with all the judgment. You've been judged too much. Like this person put you, like, like I feel like this person kept on saying, like, it's your fault. It's because of you. You did this. You did that. You did this. And it's like now you need to unwire yourself from that release any type of judgment that this person or these people have been throwing at you and just trust in yourself because maybe i feel like you do judge yourself as well like where did i go wrong what 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 could i have done better what's my lesson here Angel of healing. The angels have felt your sadness and have shown up today to send you healing. Well, there you go, next to that heartache and loss. You know, I feel like after everything you've done, seeing a certain outcome in your life is just not 
comforting, right? But there is a lot of healing. Your, the angels are showing up, meaning that you will feel their comfort. Ooh, you will definitely feel their comfort, their ease. Um, allow them to heal you. Allow them to send you good energy. Angel of soul love. Time to look at how you, val how you value yourself. Issues of self-love. That's what this person has done to you. Like, you were never enough, but you were enough. You were more than enough. They were not enough, and that's what they were trying to project upon you. And that is unfair. And, and you had to choose at one point to choose yourself and love yourself first. Instead of like dealing with this person's drama, like really avoid any type of drama. I'm hearing cancer, so you must, some of you might have been dealing with a cancer here. Isolation. Some of you may feel the need to isolate yourself in order to regain your focus. Some of you may feel very lonely, sad and lonely. The spirit is saying, like, we're here to heal you. You're not alone. Yeah, you're sad and lonely for something to end, like a relationship to end, a commitment to end. The spirit is saying, like, yes, you've been through some hardships, but there's definitely something new that's coming in facade this person was holding on a facade they were blaming you for a lot of things and keeping you in the dark about their true mask all right who they truly are they were not authentic with this facade card and i do feel like with that wisdom card that is telling me that you did learn your lesson. You don't have to question yourself. The more you kind of like detach from it now, the more you will start to understand and realize what this person was doing to you. Misery loves company sometimes. Seek seclusion. You see, Spirit is really asking you to take that, I just said it, like the distance, the isolation, seeking seclusion, and really going through your healing, allowing the angels to surround you with no other energies around you to really heal your heart, okay? Hydration, so you need to hydrate yourself, keep yourself. <coughs> Drinking a lot of water, that could definitely help you to ease your emotions and to release your emotions. You know, you could put the intention in the glass of water, like, I will drink this water in order to cleanse myself from all negative thoughts and emotions and, you know, situations that have occurred. And keep on drinking that water with that intention. You could also be, you know, putting it, you know, write it down on a, on a paper and just, you know, have, have it underneath it. Yeah, there was a lack of respect. You see, respect was a big issue. This person was not respecting you. And it says receive healing. So it's time for you to really go inward here. Intuition is telling you to go inward, to listen to your intuition, to really face the music when it comes to the pain and loss that you are encountering within the situation and that it is all coming from a lack of respect. And that, you know, this person probably does not even have respect for themselves because the way that they are coming across is like quite emotionally just all over the place. They haven't truly found their own piece of happiness and when they haven't found that for themselves, it's hard for them to give it to someone else. Okay, use your discernment with this individual. This person has been confusing you a lot. Surrender to the divine, surrender to what is. That is kind of like telling you to 
let go of trying to fix the situation right now and allow the universe to do their work. Gratitude and balance. And we've got a new beginning. So there is most definitely a new beginning that is coming up for you with someone that is going to be mentally much more in a balanced state and show more gratitude towards who you are and show more value towards you than you have been receiving here in the past. Okay. It's not, not easy times, my friend. Not easy times for you. We got indigo children. See, we... Children could definitely be involved here. You are you have a bond with children in particular. You can help children who are sensitive. And I do feel like this could be talking about a child or someone that has like a wounded inner child. And I feel like you can try so much, but at one certain point you will have to take a step back as well. Um, some of you are teachers or helping children or... Um, indigo children, people like children that are going through awakenings at a young age. And this could be also something that you will be doing in the future. There is a lot of sensitivity around you and them. And there is also definitely a connection where they trust you. Okay. Uh, life review. Take inventory of your life and resolve to change or heal anything that is unbalanced. So that life review can only be done by going inwards and going into some type of isolation in order to heal, seek, seeking that seclusion in order to get more awareness of where things are unbalanced in your life, all right, and why you attract certain people that truly need too much of your energy, uh, whether that is your time, your energy, your money, your stability, like they, they gain something from you. What else does Capricorn need to know right now? Ooh. Work on speaking the truth, working on clarity, giving clarity, setting boundaries here. I'm feeling nervous all of a sudden. I feel like you're going to receive a me message that's going to make you a little bit nervous. Uh, I'm trying to dig a little bit deep, see what this is trying to tell me. I feel like one of the messages is also telling me that you may need to work on some uh, harmony within your friendships, all right? Like, uh, find that click again, find your old roommates or your old friends, and really try to rekindle things with them. Um, I feel like that's going to give you a lot of, a sense of empowerment, a sense of achievement, a sense of like, okay, you are able to work things through with your soul tribe, all right, and maybe, because we got the devil here, here as well, and if you, if you just look at the devil and the six of wands, this is talking about someone that really wants to get your attention and does like a lot of tricks in order to get your attention. I don't know what that means to you, but there could be definitely someone in your surrounding that is trying to get your attention in a jealous way or maybe trying to compare you or tell you like, I did this and, you know,
my milkshake is better than yours type of energy. Okay, so be mindful of that. Try to avoid that type of energies. Or you don't have to avoid it. Like if it's triggering you, then, you know, face it head on and try to make the best out of it. The, the temperance card is definitely talking about putting things back in balance here. Anyway, this was a confusing extra cards that wanted to come through, man. <laughs> Sometimes it happens like that. Maybe you you are understanding what I'm saying, but anyway. High Priestess of Air. So definitely needing to focus on a clear mind, okay? Uh, communication, speaking your truth, working on writing. Maybe you need to write things down. Like the Ace of Swords and the Eight of Pentacles could be talking about like being authentic, writing a blog, writing a post, uh, writing a message, doing something that that can uh, elevate you, reading in order to gain more perspective. So there is a lot that you need to do when it comes to communication, writing, speech, whatever it is. Uh, that is the only way for you to, you know, come back in balance. Psychic insight. All right, see, intuition again. Your third eye is opening. See truth for what it is. Follow your intuition. So see the truth for what it is. And the truth, the intuition card, which is the psychic ability, is looking right into that three of swords, which is heartbreak and loss. So it's kind of like stop making any excuses. See that it is a painful situation and deal with it like that instead of like trying to make things, you know, sound better or even you know, wanting to search for other ways to ignore what is going on because sometimes we can do that as well. So see the truth for what it is. Honor your inner knowing and intent and create. So again, it's all talking about you already knew. There could have been something in the past that already reminded you of the tower, of the red flag. Trust that inner knowing and don't, um, don't, don't throw that away. Okay, there wasn't there was a first intuition that you had that could have told you something and you and then like many months passed by and now you're starting to realize like okay what I was feeling back then it might be the truth. It's not easy to face that truth, but it is what it is. And yeah, that's uh that's what I'm having here. That was not an easy session. Absolutely not. I really do hope that you know, this was healing to you and definitely not triggering. I really hope that you found your peace within this reading because it was quite heavy for you, I believe. Um, but yeah, I wish you a lot of healing. I wish you a lot of wisdom and clarity for the upcoming weeks. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Hopefully things have already moved into your wishes <laughs> okay so catch you soon capricorn ciao